These days, more people are using credit cards to pay their day-to-day -day expenses, hoping to stay afloat. Others are already drowning in debt. Last month, more than 106,000 people filed for bankruptcy. That's up 40 percent from a year ago. But there's a new way to avoid all that, as Priya David tells us in our continuing series, Dollars and Cents. Janine Kane prides herself on a tidy home. What else do you have in your folder here? Her finances, however, are in shambles ever since her husband lost his full time job and their mortgage payments rose. They want uh, $1,225.59. Now they're working four jobs between the two of them, but it's not enough to pay off their credit card bills. It wasn't any extravagant items that we went out or jewelry or TVs or anything like that. It was basically stuff to, to live with. At this point, how high is your credit card debt? Um, it's around 23000 total for both of us. The Canes are part of a growing group economists call the near bankrupt on main streets across America. As jobs dry up and adjustable rate mortgages go up, consumers are taking on more credit card debt to try and bridge those gaps. The average American household has assumed unprecedented levels of debt. And they can't afford to repay all of their debt, but they could pay a portion of it. Most debt management companies require people to repay all of their debt or declare bankruptcy. But consumer finance expert Robert Manning says he's got a better way using a formula that determines how much a borrower can repay based on income, local cost of living, and local taxes. The consumer avoids bankruptcy and the lenders get some of their money back. His innovative program is administered by two debt resolution companies, In Charge and Hope Financial. So far, it's available in 25 states. Manning's program helped save the Hoffman's California home. I was afraid, yeah, we're going to lose our place because we got three notices of foreclosure. Unable to pay their ballooning mortgage, they'd racked up $50,000 in credit card loans and owed $350,000 on the house. I've been through some tough times, but, uh, you know, I've wanted. never thought I had, I'd have to go bankrupt. Using Manning's formula, the Hoffman's biggest lenders agreed to clear the couple after they repay just 37 percent of what they owe. And counselors got the Hoffman's mortgage payments cut almost in half to about $1,700. It's very important for everybody to take a realistic approach, and the realistic approach is let's reach a compromise. Compromise with this approach means lenders recoup at least some of their losses, and borrowers get a chance to wipe their debts clean. Priya David, CBS News, Rochester, New York.